way, wrong way, wrong way. Where's the turn thing? There we go. Right, welcome back. Let's get this finished, part seven. Let's turn this heater off, get rid of that noise. Okay, so in between um, part six, me finishing off there and starting here, I've done one small thing, two small things. I've got the brackets, the mounts, let me get the box. These mounts here, the engine guard frame mounts, I've already taken them out of the box and stuck them on the crash bars. So that's a pretty simple thing, just to try and save some time. And then what I'll do right now on camera is fit the S4s to these. And then when it's all back together, we'll be able to make all the final adjustments to, to the S4s. So ignore how they're going on. They're gonna look really wonky for now. There we go, it's one. And hang on, let's see what you can see. Yeah, lovely. Let's spin around. Great, isn't it, this lift? You want one, don't you? I know you do. What we've got to do is go on the website and make your purchase and I'll have it delivered within a couple of days. All right, focusing on there. Got little black covers as well to go on them, they go on at the end. Little finishes. Right, let's, uh, like, we could even plug them in right now. Yeah, why not? So, if I do this side, because as we put the bike back together, um, things will, you've got to make sure you get, you get this all threaded through as the panels are going back on again. So, I'm going to plug that to there. That's that S4 there. And plug this one in that side. Turn it on. There we go. <laughs> it's all coming together now. It's all coming together now. So, full beam, left indicator. I'm assuming that's working. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. And strobe, part that traffic. All good. Right, now let's start putting this all back together again. That's turned off. Let's get this in a good position. And the only reason I struggle a bit moving this on my floor is because I've got rubber flooring. <clears throat> so the wheels don't move as easy. Right. So, what's the first panel we're going to start off with? We're going to start off with the the, uh, the side panel. This, I'm just grabbing it from behind. Now, <clears throat> I don't know which side goes and what, but you can kind of, well, I do, but I can kind of tell that's not going to go there. That's for the other side. So, I'm going to put that round here on the floor and grab the other matching panel. 
which is where there. Right, and you can more or less just get this on the bike without any screws. Obviously, we've got to screw it in. Right. Now, the other side is going to be a little trickier because we've got the, the horn, the sound bomb relay. So the first thing we've got to do is we, we, you've got a latch to go over this little hook just here. It's not a hook, but it's got to go over that first. So that's now over. You've then got a, a plastic pin and a rubber grommet. Pop that in there like that. That is now in place. Remember those um, two plastic rivet pins that I uh, damaged? Well, I've got some new ones here. So, there they are there. So we put the plug in first. So line up the hole. That's that one in. And then we push in the pin. That's it, that's now in. Now, since that problem I had the other day, I had a customer tell me about, which is very, very good, about um, using a piece of string and putting it around the head of the pin and pulling the string. What an amazing idea. Fantastic that was. But I thought I'd go on Amazon and I ordered these. It cost me about 11 or 12 pounds. Actually, it could have been 14, I can't remember. But that would also do the job as well. I can get in there with that and pull it out with that. That one, not so good. And that one, I've got no chance of getting that one in there. Right, so that'll be for the next, the next one. Right, um, now let's put the screws in there. Right, now when you, when you take it apart, I said on the, the first video, make a note of what screws are coming out of where. I know what goes where because I've worked on these bikes for such a long time, long size, Torx head. I've worked on them for such a long time. I know where everything goes. So now it's got a complete wrong screw. All right. That's the one. <clears throat> so that's still over. That's the one. There you are. One, two, three screws, pin in. That one's done, that side. I'll spin the bike round, or should I bring the camera around? No, I haven't got, I haven't got any room for the camera around here. Because I want you to see the other side, because we've got more extra wiring in the way. So let's spin this round. Well, at least I'm getting a workout, aren't I? Adjust the camera. Right, I'm just going to bring the tripod down. So sorry about the movement. This is live. Just so we can get the right height on this. Any questions? Ooh, love, love the lift. That's oh, great, isn't it? SW. How long was this in station taking you? for four hours so far. Well, I did say in a previous video that I can do this whole installation in maybe four and a half hours, this much equipment going on, if I'm not videoing and uh, giving a dialogue. Um, I'm waiting to see when Steve gets an electric screen for the GSA. Yeah, it's not on my list of priorities, but maybe I will. I had no idea that BMW was an early made motorbikes. What? what was I? I live here in the United States and the Harley-Davidson bike rules here. BMW make motorbikes, Denali do not make motorbikes, they're electronics. Um, but you like, thank you Victoria Morgan. B 
and Andrew Bale, BMW make the, make the bike. Uh, okay, just answer my question for me. Okay. I'm out of breath, just moving that stuff around. Right. So this side, we've got all that extra wiring. Now, if you haven't seen the videos before this, this is part seven of a, of a, of a hopefully a seven, epi seven episode series. Um, so we've, on this one, as you can see, we, we had a relay um, for the horn because we're not wiring the horn to the can smart because this bike's got, got a lot of gear on here and we needed to free up a circuit so you can run two sets of lights and use the, use up the, um, not use up, uh, take advantage of the, the features on the Gen 2 can smart, which where you need two circuits to run one set of lights. So that relay, I can tuck this just, just up here between the tank and the airbox. That'll be fine there. And then this wiring here, we can probably just push that in there as well behind the relay. So that's nice and easy for a BMW technician to access that relay if they need to without having to take the fuel tank off. So again, the same as the last side, we're gonna get this hook over this hook here first. Is my voice going? Feels like it is, right. So get that over there. And then you've got a plastic pin at the top going into a rubber bung. Pop that in there. And then down the bottom here, we need to line up. Remember that plastic pin the other side? That's going to down there. So all that wiring and relay is fine. We've found a nice little bit of space for it. So these are plastic rivets. So line up the hole. This is really hard to get your hands into this one down here on, because there's a fan this side. I'm sorry if I get my head in the way. But I need to see what I'm doing. Yeah, that's the back of my head. <laughs> Come on. That's it, that one's in. And then pop the pin through, which expands the, uh, the other piece that's in there to stop it from coming out. This is really, really hard to get to, this one. If I, if I look at my 1200 over here, it's a lot easier to access that pin. Right, and then let's get the screws in. Where's my, my box of screws? Can you tell I'm rushing? I just don't want this to, I don't want this to go over an hour. I want this to be completed. special um, attachment on my screwdriver here where I can bend the end. get a handheld screwdriver, the crash bar is getting in my way. Going in, I don't know why there. Oh, 
Oh, the beauty of going live, eh? Right, I'm going to quickly whip that off. I can't see the, uh, the thing on the inside. Right, I know the pin's still in, but we might be able to just about have a poke in there and have a, have a look. I think we've lost the, uh, we have, the thing's come off. The thing the screw goes into. Let me just pull the pin off again. It's not on there. I need light, more light. Bring this down a little bit. Right. Will this fit in here? No, it won't fit in there. <laughs> so back onto this again, trying to pull this out. I don't believe it. Let me have a quick look, look in here again. Oh, hang on a second. I don't need to take it off. Right, I can see it fine. Yet yeah, we've lost the little uh, spade, which fits over the top. It must have come off at some point. So we need to pop that back on. I haven't seen one on the floor. Let me just have a quick look around. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to borrow that and then find one in a second. So basically it's lost one of those on the, on the frame. We can sort that one out afterwards. See, beauty of being live. If I was editing this, you'd never have seen this. Right, get that hooked over there again. Pop that into there. Good. There we are. Right, just need to sort that top one out. Any questions? What driver bit holder are you using? Um, this here is a snap-on. Um, painful to watch, you definitely own your money. <laughs> Thank you. And the, um, the, uh, the hand driver I'm using, this here, this is a Milwaukee. Really, really good. Right, um, let me find, I'm just over at my workbench looking for one of those, a spare one of these, which I have, there it is. <clears throat> so pop this on. I must have, I must have swept it up, the other one. There we go. Right, so whilst it's in that 
position, we're now going to put the, oh, there's a debate about which, which bit you put on next. You can, you're supposed to put the nose section on first, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, that is what I'm going to do. <clears throat> right. So this is tricky because obviously we've got this wire attached to the crash bar. So if I bring this around here so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Right, I'm back. I'm back again. I'm so sorry we had a, a connection problem. I don't know why. My router is very, very good. Um, right, so I've basically, I hope you've got it all. The, the rubber grommets over the pins, I've pushed that over. The wires are behind here. They're just literally sitting behind here. Um, the next bit I'm focusing on is this bit here. That needs to go behind the plastic part of the air intake. All right, so if it doesn't line up, it's because that's not pushed on enough here. So that's, that's fine, that's in place. So now I've got that like that, I'm happy, well, first of all, this wire here for the S4, I need to, I don't want too much of it coming out of here. All right, that's there. I'm gonna put a screw into there. One with the shoulder. Make sure the screw doesn't go into, into any of the wires. It won't do. But always good to check and make sure. That's good. Right, shall we still connected? Yep. All right, I'm just going to loosen that a little bit because I still think that can come back a little bit. So it's, it's connected, but it's loose. That way I've got some travel because I need to line up the holes up here as well. Right, so with that like that, let's start pushing this in. So these screws down, the, the bolts at the bottom of the crash bar, down the bottom here, they, these are loose. Well, I need to loosen that one at the bottom just a little bit, just so we can definitely get the bolt lined up at the top. Oh, hang on a second, no, 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 no. Ignore me, ignore me. I'm focusing too much on the, the camera. Hold on, just need to take my, uh... sorry about that noise, just missing the microphone, just take, take my jumper off. It's now getting warm. Right, so I'm just grabbing the other side panel. which is this one here. So now we're putting this on. Okay. Right, under the wire. getting them away now. No, I'm not going to take that off.
Now I'm just going to put one screw up here to hold that in place at the top, because that's where that one goes. Can you see what I'm doing now on the camera? I don't think you can, no, sorry. So I'm just putting this screw in here. Not getting fully tight. Right, so you've got, you've got slots under here and you've got little wings that go into those slots. So we need to make sure they slide in. There we go. And then here you've got another wing which has to go underneath this here, that's that there. We can now start bringing this in. Let me just loosen this off. So I'm pushing this crash bar back in and we're going to line it up and put the bolt through now. <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's fun. Oh, hang on. My, that won't fit in there. Let me just grab my, my torque set. I keep forgetting that doesn't fit in there. Right, so by having those the two bolts at the bottom loose, it makes it much, much easier to get this in. Okay, just move that to one side. There we go, that's now going in. So get that nice and tight. It's fiddly, isn't it? It is fiddly. And then I'm just gonna, I'm not setting, I'm not actually setting the position of this right this very moment, I'm just, Getting it tight so it's not going to be flipping around all loose on the on the crash bar while we're doing other things. So that's it. That's fine. I'm happy with that. And then the excess that we currently have here, we need to push this up, but we can get behind here and pull some of it through. I'm probably going to do it differently on the next one on the other side. All right, there we go. Right. Good, good, good. Right, that's that there. So whilst that's in that position, make sure we're still camera rolling. Any comments that people want to ask? Oh, people to watch, yeah. All interesting points for, for when I get my setup from you, Steve. Good stuff. What do you recommend for rear visibility and how much is enough for the front? 
um, like what you do, Steve. Thank you, Colin. Uh, Cavatals, um, you need to go and watch, actually go and watch the whole of this video. If you go back and look at part six, you'll see what I've done on the rear of this bike. So you're watching part seven live right now. Right, I'm just tightening the bottom of the crash bar. You see that there? That's it. And the clip for the OEM, make sure that's, because sometimes I think I might have detached it from this side, make sure that's all in place. But these are all final checks we can do right at the very end when we go over the bike. So I'm not gonna put that cover on just yet, no need, but obviously the screws lined up perfectly. That's all fine, that's all on. Let's put a screw in here. It looks like a, shoulder, a shoulderless screw. All right, let's get that lined up. There it is. No, it's not going in. Sorry, I had to move, move you out of the way. Good. I tell you what, I know, I know what I've done wrong. It's the wrong, wrong length screw. It's this one here. All right. I've got the diameter right. Just put the length in. Right. There we go. It's so one, two. And then we've got the bottom ones to go on yet. So we'll do that when I lift, I lift the front up to get all the ones down the side of this. Right, let's get the other side done. So just so you can see that. Okay. All right, round to the other side. Right, so now that's, that piece is on the front there, it's a case of, you've got um, like a little shark fin, if you want to call it that, which goes inside here. So we need to focus on that to begin with. But we also need to make sure this bit here goes behind the plastic lug on the air vent. go so coming to the front putting that little shark fin into the slot that's on the other piece of the panel oh I'm, I'm recording live sorry sorry my wife just walked in behind me scared the living the hell out of me sorry right. okay all right I'll, I'll see you in what about an hour two hours Probably three, three hours okay drive safely the weather's horrific out there all right um Right. We're still rolling okay. Yeah, we're still rolling. Oh, so the front piece, um, it's hard to show you this. I don't, I don't want to put the nose up just yet, but um, I think I showed you it when I took it apart though. So just here, they screw together. So let's, Screw them together. Uh, 
that's it. So all the lines look perfect. Everything looks even and symmetrical. Um, then it's all about <laughs> the tricky bit. Um, so let's get that screw in first on the air vent. All right. Anything else that I need to, oh, that's it. Don't tighten that one up just yet. Just in case I need some movement on that. Yep, there we go. Right, let's get the other panel. Where is it? There it is. enough light over here for this. I think so. <clears throat> so here we go again. That needs to go under here. Actually, do you know what? I am going to tighten that one up. because it's all the way there. Okay, I'm just thinking to myself for a moment. Mm -hmm. I'm pushing a load of that back into there. So there's so much space behind these panels and because we cable tied everything in place, things can't fall back down inside in, onto moving parts. So I'm just literally filling up the voids with the wires. Now this particular one, because when this come, when the S4 is here, we want the, the wire to run along the back. We're going to cable tie it to here at the very end and it disappeared behind this panel. All right. All right, let's get this one on. So I'm gonna get the top screw in first. Uh, oh yeah, making sure that the, hang on, the little fins on this black plastic piece slide into the slots under here, which it looks like, oh no, I've missed them, I've, they, they missed, but because it's still loose, we've got, ah, there we are, they're now in there, that's now locked onto that piece. Click that, there's like a little thing you click under there. That's now lined up, ready to be screwed. Um, oh, no, can you see the mistake I've made? The wire's on the wrong side. So, I just wanna make sure you can see all this. Yeah, you can. So the wire's on the complete wrong side because I'm paying so much attention to all the things that got clicked into place. So, <laughs> uh, unscrew that. I'm sliding these uh, little 
things into the, locking them into place again. There we go, that's, that's locked in. Popping that down into place. Like that. Screw. It's quite a long screw that goes in this one, which I just learned about on the other side. It's not, it's not the same case on, all, all, on the 1200s. I don't pay too much attention to that though. Right. Uh, might as well put that one in there as well while we're here. Making sure we can still get some movement here on this cable. So I can't, I can no longer get up there. Oh, right. No, 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 no. Right. So it's loosened this one. I'm taking this one out now. So we've got some movement here. Bring this up. Thread this in. Hey, who would have lost their bottle by now? Who would have uh, <laughs> given up? <laughs> I think this is why I get so many people come to me for the installations. Because although they can probably think, they can see exactly how it's done, they just don't want the headache of it all. Because it's, uh, you, know, you get a lot of people saying, why take it to that guy to get it fitted when you can do it yourself? Well, you know, there's some people out there that, that just don't want to do it themselves. They want to have the look, but they don't want the, all the hard work involved. Right, what's that? Um, I need to loosen off the, the clamp so I can access. Right, so just loosening this clamp off. Now I'm putting the bolts in for the crash bar. So I'm not setting the height of this accurately right now. I'm just getting it in the position where it's roughly in place. And uh, I'll fine tune this probably off camera because it's very time consuming. But it's just a case of just mess messing around with all the bolts and getting it so it's, so, it's, uh, so it's pointing in the right direction for you really. That. Right. So we've got that screw in there, got that screw in there, that one there. Let's tighten these up. I'm now going to put this top piece on here. Still rolling, we're rolling. There 
There we go. Any questions from anybody more recent? Uh, I will, yeah, cool. I think uh, I think I'd have given up way before this part. Yeah, it's a persistence. Um, if, you, if you take something and like this on, I, every, I don't get bored of it. Every time I do one, um, I get such a great feeling of satisfaction as it leaves the the workshop. I right, just need to line these up. There's a few wires under here, so they're obviously struggling a little bit. one's going to be a bit of a pain. That's a good job these screws have got pointed heads on them because they're because once you get a bit of the hole lined up you just got to push it through and, and screw it and it just pulls it all in line. No, that's not having, having it. It's not having it. <laughs> right, they're lined up. They are lined up. Go, that's it. Right. Very good. Right. So now that's on. Now we're going to put the tank cover on. Fifty minutes. Can't believe this. <laughs> I refuse this to go over one hour. We're just going to keep going. We're going to keep rolling. Right, so that's all on. Just for the record, I did cable tie all the wire for the uh, fuelless, fuelless, <laughs> keyless fuel cap. It'd be good to have a fuelless uh, fuel tank, wouldn't it? Um, and that, that's all cable tied down here. Now, remember the Jivy, um, the, the Jivy power supply? That is here in my hand. I know you can't see it from where you're sitting right there. That's in my hand. It's in the same place it's been for the last couple of um, episodes. So as this comes on top, I'm going to make sure that doesn't get in, get, doesn't get stuck anywhere. Now, as you bring this in, you've got you've got tiny little um, spades that have to go over these sections here, um, and that's it. That's it, really. Uh, now, don't punch down on top yet because this clips down around it. So you need to get those lined up first. That one's in. If you get one in, the other one's tougher to get in. So what I'm doing is pushing here. If you struggle with it, loosen those off a little bit. It gives you some movement. Hang up, just come around the other side. <clears throat> so 
So that's still in place. So like so. Yeah, I'm struggling a little bit. I don't want to force it. So I'm just going to loosen these off a fraction without actually undoing them. And that'll give us some play. And there we are, that's now clicked in place. Now it's clicked in place, both sides on, pushed down over the fuel cap. So that's all flush there. Tighten those back up again. <clears throat> and under the fuel cap, you've got two screws that go in there. And then you've got a screw that goes in the front. Well, you think is you, you saw all this coming apart, didn't you? When I took the bike apart. So you see where they'll go. Hold on. It's a small shouldered. These are small shouldered screws, this one. can't quite get my driver in there. I can get my driver in there, but I'm struggling with it. So I'm going to use my little, my little handheld snap-on. Oh, I need to drop a bit there. I need to drop the bit. And this side. And then one place that some, some people forget is there's a bolt that came out of here which is slightly a larger diameter than the other bolts on here. And that goes down the front just there. So these different size Torx uh, bit on this one. So just popping that one in. It's just behind the, the yoke on your handlebar. Bang in the centre it is. I'm just lining that one up. Get that's in. Yep. Right, let's see what the camera can see as I'm moving things around. I'm just going to move the bike a little bit. here. Oh, wrong size bit. That is the top of the fuel tank complete. That's on there.
Right. Um, um, let me just. Oh, I'm trying to do things without you seeing now. Bring this round to here. What I'm saying down here is when I had to move that crash bar a little bit, I had to adjust the fog. So I'm just putting the, putting the wire back into the clip on the side of the crash bar. And then clipping that down. Can't see what I'm doing. Yeah, that's in. And then later on, don't need to do this on camera, I'll be setting up the, uh, the lights, making sure they're not dazzling traffic coming on. Now I forgot to put that screw in there as well. I saw a screw on the ground. Right. So there's just a little screw behind here. Oh, that's not easy to get to. Um, the one that got away, eh? The one that got away. going in. I don't believe it is. Hang on. See something else, if this was live, sorry, if this wasn't live, you wouldn't see any of this. You just assume it all lined up lovely. Yep, it's done. Right. So I'm not going to. Um, no, I, I will. I will. I'll, I'll, I'm going to try and get this all lined up for you, so you can see it on this on this video on this video footage. Um, so that's that side, that's that side. Let's put the cover on over here. So we can still push some of that through if we need to. So. the front together. So bring it to here and we're going to pop this up at an angle to meet the bike. the one hour marker just gone. Fantastic. Time just gets away with you. Right, 
Right, so that's going to go up there. You need to have two screws at the ready. Because it won't stay there by holding it there. Right, so you've got little letter boxes each side, a groove each side. It's really easy. You just line up the, the groove in the letter box, or the, it should be the letter, shouldn't it? The post in the letter box. That holds up like that, and then pop a screw in the respective holes. There's one. There's two. That's all in place. Now we need to secure the side panel here. There's three screws, one, two, three, one, two, three. Can you see that on there? I don't think you can, can you? Um, just bring this up, just adjusting the tripod. Sorry if that's nauseating for you. coming in front of, right in front of the camera. <clears throat> well, we're getting down to the final few screws. Actually, these are the final screws. This is it. This is it. Right. Um, I'm going to do this bottom one first. bottom one there, this bottom one down here, and then I can't fit quite fit my electric driver in there, so back to the handheld one. So this is the time you don't want your sky lift to fall on your head. Because if I remember rightly, I didn't put the lock on. <laughs> I'm getting nervous now. <laughs> Get my head out just in case. Oh, that'll be on live as well. Could you imagine that? Oh. Well, some of you might enjoy it. I don't know. Right, on this side. Move that camera around, otherwise you're just going to see my back the whole time. I'm not too sure if you can see that or not. I struggle with this side because I'm not I'm right-handed, so it's a bit of a struggle. Right, that's all the screws on. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna, because there's a couple of things as, as I'm standing here doing, doing the work, remembering things I haven't done. It's things like these bolts just here. So if I bend that out there, can't fit around there. Because these have to be loose to line that up there, which we've done, already done. I need to tighten it back up again.
I really am not left-handed, as you can you tell. <laughs> it feels so cat-handed. Just that. Um, so let's lower this down. Tripod a bit closer. Ah, perfect. Perfect. Right. So, here is the, the Jivy power supply just there. So, I'm going to put that in place. Thing is, where the camera is, that's where I, ideally I want to be standing. So um, I might have to uh, just show you this after I've done it rather than, yeah, I'm not going to do a good enough job. So let me see if I can. Oops. Oh, have we still got sound or just not my camera? Okay, that's good. That's fine. One moment. My audio receiver's just fallen off the iPad. Right. Let's crank that up. There we go. <laughs> right, there we are. <laughs> Right, so you peel off the 3M tape on the back. Yeah. I'm going to make sure that this is not going, well I know it's not, let me just double check where mine is. Yeah, because you don't want the handlebar to get in the way. So that is... There, that'd be good. Pop that just there. And then get a cable tie. on that. Snip that excess off. And then you've got, don't forget you've got the cover, the waterproof cover, which goes on top. Hope you can see that. Um, and then the tripod's in the way of the, the handlebar. So if I bring that out of there, oops, sorry. And I do this. You'll see it doesn't, it, it, well, it doesn't even touch it actually. It's not even touching it. 
It's in the perfect place. So as the, the owner of this bike puts, puts his tank bag on here, he can just unplug that and uh, plug in his tank bag straight into there and he's got power in his tank bag. Right, I'll put that on a bit later. It's very hard trying to do all this and carry a camera at the same time. Right, 71 minutes. Whew, right. Um, let's see what you can see from where you are. Need to put the cover on. If anyone can, notices that the, the, the red thing is missing on top of the positive, it was never there in the first place. job good good job um, make sure he can still access his optimate he had an optimate cable down here I didn't install that but there it is just there let's put the front seat on let's put the rear seat on There we go. All I need to do now is just uh, set up these lights, just get the angles right, and that's, that's going to take up to maybe 15, 20 minutes. So we're, I'm not going to do that now. What I'm going to do is, th th this is now going to complete the seven part series of this live installation. And then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little five minute video together um, just so I can put a link and entice people to watch the, this playlist that I've put together and uh, whether they consider buying um, buying all this kit and actually fit it themselves. So that's all I need to do. I just need to set this up. So if I just, if I just balance that there for now. But the, I'll put the, 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 the very short five-minute video will be It'll be done with it all finished on here. Balance. <laughs> Balance. Right, so we'll power this up now. And there you have it. So those S4s will be perfectly symmetrical. Indicate right, sorry, indicate left. Indicate right. Flash. Indicator and flash. That's perfect, that's great. And the bit we're all waiting for, this bit here. <laughs> All right, and the strobe. Right, hope you enjoyed all this, and uh, if you didn't, I apologise. And uh, I'll, I'll, as I said, in the next couple of days, maybe the next 24 hours, I'll make a short video showing everything about, everything you know, with it on here, all finished and stuff. And I'm also going to be doing um, a little bit of a video uh, test comparing the a Krapovich on my bike with the baffles out compared to the SC Project on this bike to see whether you prefer the sound or not. So make sure you, you stay tuned for that. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and click on the bell notification so you don't miss that. Um, but that's kind of it really. I just need to go around and just check everything's um, good and uh, tiny little bits, just wrap it up here and there. And um, But that's done. That, that, the, the installation is complete. Thanks, guys. Bye. Oh no! Hang on! 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 Were there were there any more more uh, more comments? Um, 
Very nice upgrade. Thanks, Matt. Sila. Oh, I know who you are now, yeah. Um, excellent. Right. 